he was really big into woodworking since he was in high school and was always dabbling in it. My uh, uncle, my dad's side, was doing a fair bit of woodworking, and so I just got really more interested into it. And then, just like any small town kid, I got into 4-H, started doing projects there, and I started off with just making some really crude boxes. And I'm a little competitive, so every year I just kept doing, I just kept trying to one-up myself. Couldn't care less about 4-H in general, I just wanted to one-up myself on doing another project and how can I expand my abilities and skills and do more complex projects. And it was just, it grew exponentially on my, my passion doing woodworking. Here a few years ago, I was cutting a couple of tomatoes and you cut tomatoes, juice goes everywhere. And I thought, man, I hate these Walmart plastic flat things. They're getting, they're hard on my knives. And I thought, well, you know, every woodworker's got to make a cutting board in, in their time of life, right? So I wanted some of the juice groove and I wanted some specific thing. Made one, like, you know, I don't really like this. I don't like the color. It's not going well with my kitchen. So I made another one. Didn't like it. So I was like, ah, you know what? I'll put it on Facebook and see if someone wants it because, you know, it's, it's after harvest, it's the end of October, Christmas is coming up. Well, then it just starts snowballing. I mean, I went to bed that night and come up and I had, you know, 40, then 50, then 70 comments on that posting. Hey, I want one. Could you make me one? I, I want, I'll pay double what they want. It just starts snowballing and I just hammer down. I didn't do anything the rest of fall on the farm really besides to take care of hogs. And I was in here this entire time just making cutting board after cutting board. I would say the main aspect I love about woodworking is you can never get bored of doing the same thing. If I get tired of making end grain cutting boards, I can go make rolling pins. I get tired of doing that, I can make boxes. I get tired of doing that, I'll make something else, wine racks. I've got some ideas for some Christmas decorations coming up. I mean, there's always something, the sky's the limit on your creativity of what you can do. Or sometimes I get burnt out of making cutting boards, but I still want to make some cutting boards because someone says they want something custom and I'll think of some different way of doing an inlay and putting bows and curves with different things and making designs, uh, geometric design. I love doing geometric designs. Uh, when someone says they want something custom and unique that I've never done before, I'll sit down and look at my pictures of what I previously made and I'll figure something else out. But um, I've made five different um, quilt racks in every single one, I'm trying to figure out a different way of how to make the joinery for the sides to stay together and not do the same thing twice. And I've still got a lot more ideas on how I can do that. And that's, that's the greatest thing about woodworking is you can always find something else different but still do woodworking. Get tired of doing something on a lathe, you can do, do something else and you're still doing woodworking that you love to do, but there's just a wide brush stroke of what you can, what you can build.